Hello everyone, uh, today I'm going to talk about our case study 2 uh, for a gland steam fan after race bearing defect and uh, my name is Salah Atiyah, I'm a condition monitoring and reliability specialist I have a bachelor degree in mechanical engineering, level 4 vibration analyst uh, level 2 lubrication, 2 in thermographer and asset reliability level 2 uh, today I'm, today I'm going to talk about this case of a gland steam fan bearing fault as you can see here in the photo, we have two gland steam fan, which is a motor direct coupled with the fan. Uh, one of the machines is running, and the other one is skipped as standby. And what happened is the vibration was kept transmitted from the running machine to the standby one, causing this bearing defect problem. Both motor drive end for the bearing velocity and big view spectrum showed elevated vibration at the outer race bearing defect, and that was indig indicative of bearing fault. The bearing was replaced and the fault pattern looks like false bernaling and it's very important when you find like inner race, outer race, cage or rolling element bearing fault in your spectrum and you took the decision to replace the bearing, please keep the bearing, don't throw it on the bin. You, you need to have a look and know the root cause of the fault to know if it's because of the fatigue, corrosion, false bernaling, wrong installation, you need to know this and to avoid this to happen in the future, it could be misalignment and he can send the, the bearing to the manufacturer and he can have a look on the bearing and he can make you make to you a root cause analysis uh, report or if you have the enough knowledge and experience you can do this yourself the motor was running for a while and kept as a standby and because of it was kept as a standby for a while that was the main cause or the main reason that the vibration was kept transmitted from the machine to the other and one of the solution you can like isolate the two machines, put some dampers, trying to find a solution to stop the transmitted vibration from the running machine to the standby one. As you can see here in the waterfall spectrum, it's showing everything was looks normal till the last reading, which was taken at the last 18 of uh, of December in 2018, and it was showing the uh, the uh, outer race bearing defect with harmonics and few side bands. You can see here in the velocity spectrum. This is the outer race bearing defective frequency with many harmonics and few side bands. The spectrum is really very busy, and this is the velocity spectrum, which is in, in, indicative. It is it could be like like third stage bearing fault. The big view spectrum showing the outer race bearing defect with many harmonics at the 150 for the SKF bearing 6307. Uh, we're gonna talk more about the bearing fault stages uh, in the bearing fault videos in the series of the fault analysis which I started yesterday and uh, we're gonna talk about the outer race bearing defect with all its stages the inner race the cage and the rolling element uh, so we'll talk about this in detail here you can see after we replaced the bearing we found the the bearing fault uh, on the uh, on the bearing itself when we inspected as you can see in this white ring there is this tiny marks and this was an indication of false bernaling this was your defect marks uh, it looks tiny it's not doesn't look big you can leave the, f the bearing actually f to run for a while at this condition but the, uh, the thing is the uh, to predict the progression and deterioration of this fault is really very hard this is small or tiny notch on the outer race it can progress very rapidly in very short time and you can crack the outer race and we don't want to reach this stage and because at this stage we will like get our bearing damage and you can have a second secondary failure and your role as a predictive engineer or a condition monitoring engineer to predict uh, the fault before it happened and uh, replace your bearing on the right time yes that's all for today uh, thank you so much please like subscribe and share and wait for your comments thanks